hello children now we are going to begin with factors and multiples then we are going to learn common factors and then highest common factors what are factors factors are the two numbers of tables which are used to find products 2 and 3 6 and 5 are called as factors what are common factors common factors are the numbers which are common in any two given numbers that is tables 9 and 12 Ha! Huh, in how many ways we are going to get nine? That is, one nines are, three threes are, nine ones are. Then, by twelve. Twelve. When we are going to get one twelve are, two six are, three four are, four threes are, six twos are, and twelve ones are. Find the common numbers between nine and twelve. That is one and three. So write down common factors. One and three. What is HCF? HCF is nothing but highest common factor. The biggest number or the factor out of the common factor is called as HCF. Example nine and twelve. So first write down the factors. In factors nine, that is how we are going to get in table one, table three, and table nine. Then twelve. In how many ways? That is ones are, twos are, threes are, four, six, and twelve. We can get twelve. Now compare between nine and twelve. Common is one and three. Write down common factor is equals to one and three. HCF is equals to three. Highest number we are going to write. Activity three. Use multiplication to find the factors of a fifteen. How we are going to get by multiplication the fifteen one into fifteen, then three fives are fifteen, five threes are fifteen, fifteen into one fifteen. Thus factors are one three five and fifteen. Then twenty one into twenty you will get twenty two tens are twenty four fives are twenty five fours are twenty ten twos are twenty thus factors are one two four five and ten then twenty four one into twenty four is equals to twenty four two into twelve is equals to twenty four three into eight is equals to twenty four four six are twenty four six fours are twenty four eight threes are twenty four twelve twos are twenty four twenty four ones are twenty four thus factors are One, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty-four. D twenty-eight. One into twenty-eight is equals to twenty-eight. Two fourteens are twenty-eight. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Seven fours are twenty-eight. Twenty-eight ones are twenty-eight. Fourteen twos are twenty-eight. Those factors are one, two, four, seven, fourteen, and twenty-eight. Then similarly, find for thirty-two. Then F forty five. Then question number two. Use division to find the factors of. See earlier we were doing multiplication. Now by dividing we have to find the factors. Twelve. Take twelve and divide by one. If you get denominator zero, then it is a factor. Twelve to be divided by two. Divide and see you will get denominator. Sorry. Remainder as zero. Then that is a factor. So by three also it is possible. By four and by six also. Here we get remainder as zero. Thus these are the factors of twelve. Eighteen. Eighteen divided by one you will get eighteen. Eighteen. Divided by two, you are going to get nine. Then eighteen divided by three also six. So these are what one, two, three, six, nine are the factors of eighteen. Similarly, C. Then D. E. And F.
when 81 is divided by 1 you will get 81 itself when 81 divided by 2 at that time you will get the remainder 1 so that is not a factor of 81 then divide by 3 you will get denominator 0 here so it is a factor and by 4 it is not a factor by 9 again it is a factor those factors are 1 3 and 9 Write true or false, give reason. 4 is a factor of 48, yes. In table 4, we have 48. The another way is to divide and see you got remainder 0 here. So, it is yes, it is a factor. Then, question B. 0 is a factor of 25, false. No, 0 is not a factor of any number because division by 0 is not possible. Every number is a factor of itself. True. Yes, every number go into itself once. 8. 8 is a factor of 65. No, we don't have 65 in table 8. We have 64. 65 is false. One is a factor of every number. Yes, it is true. It is divisible. Yes, as one is a divisor of every number. 45 is a factor of 5. True. Yes, it is a factor. Find the common factors of the following. See what is given. Question A. 4 and 10. We need to find first factors. Then only we can find common factors. Factor of 4. That means how 4 we can get. That is by 1s, 2s and 4s. Then 10. 1s, 2s, 5s and 10s. In these two you have to find the common factors. The common factors are 1 and 2. B. It is 9 and 27. Factors of 9 is 1, 3 and 9. Factors of 27? 1, 3, 9 and 27. So, which are the common factors among these two that I have circled? 1, 3 and 9. 1, 3 and 9. Similarly, do for C. Then D. E. And let us take F. In the F we have 12, 18 and 36. Factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Factors of 18. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36. See we have to compare these three. That is 12, 18 and 36. In that we got common factor 1, 2, 3 and 6. Find the HCF of the following. A, 4 and 6. See step 1 we need to find factors. Step 2 common factors and at the last we are going to have HCF. Directly we can't have HCF. To have HCF first we should find factors then common factors. Factors of 6 are 1, 2 and 4. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. That is how we are going to get 6 from which tables. Then common factors are 1 and 2. Which is the highest one? That is 2. Then B. 9 and 15. So first factors. Factors of 9 then factors of 15. Then write down the common factors. Common factors are 1 and 3. What will be the HCF? The HCF will be 3. Similarly, do C. Then go for D. It is also in the same way. First find the factors. Then have the common factors. And then highest one. The biggest one. Question number E. 6, 12 and 24. C3 numbers are given. Now you need to write 3 tables. 6, write down the ways. Then 12, how many factors? Those things. And 24, in how many factors we are going to get? 
out of these three you have to compare you should have commonly in all the three cases the three number the factors are 1 2 3 and 6 so which is the highest one the biggest one is 6 similarly for f 25 45 and 50 factors of 25 1 5 and 25 factor for 45 so divide and see you will get the factors 1 3 5 9 59 45 then for 50 you have to find the factors compare these factors you will get the common factors as 1 and 5 so out of this which is the highest one that is 5 so write down 5 as the answer then co prime number what are co prime numbers the number with 1 as the highest common factor is called as co prime number let us take example find the hcf of 4 and 9 so first write down the factors 1 2 and 4 then 9 1 3 and 9 which is a common factor among 4 and 9 that is 1 so HCF will be 1. This is called as 1 is co prime. The number 4 and 5 are co prime numbers. The next one. Question number 6. Which of the following pairs are co prime? A 9 and 12. Factors of 9 are 1, 3 and 9. Factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So common factors are 1 and 3. Here HCF the biggest one is 3. So it is not a co-prime number. 9 and 12 are not co-prime numbers because we have HCF as 3. If we have HCF as 1 that is called as co-prime number. 3 and 8. Factors of 3 and are 1 and 3 factors of 8 are 1 2 4 and 8 so common factor is 1 here see 1 and 1 other numbers are not the so common factor is 1 the hcf will be 1 so what will be that number called as co prime number yes 3 and 8 are co prime numbers as we have hcf as 1 15 and 3 step first factors factors for 15 and factors for 3 the common factors are 1 and 3 here and which is the highest one highest one is 3 so this is not a co prime number no 15 and 3 are not co prime numbers as we have highest common factor as 3 